I'm feeling kind of sad about it. Hey guys. So I'm really looking forward to this particular puzzle because not only have a ton of you have recommended it to me, but it's not only, you know, just piecing a puzzle together. There's a whole adventure to this. And the puzzle that I am talking about is one from the Magic Puzzle Company. It is called The Forest Feast. The artwork is by S. Coleman. It is 1,000 pieces and it is 28 by 21 inches when it's completed. It's made out of premium puzzle materials that snap together and stay put. I'll be interested to see if that's true. These are custom piece shapes so details don't get cut in half. And oh, this is interesting, no puzzle dust. Oh, we shall see. And when I mean by adventure to, to this whole thing, I mean, look at the back of the box here. There's tons of things going on here. It's a jigsaw puzzle with a magical surprise at the end. And just to give a quick rundown, there's tiny details on all the individual pieces. It's a unique world, rich with different scenes. There's 50 plus Easter eggs to find as you solve. But aside from trying to decipher all of this stuff on the back of the box, I mean, I'm, this is a good sign as well off top, you know, on a side note, it, this was the number one puzzle on TikTok. So, you know, obviously a lot of people love these puzzles. But anyways, as I was going to say, this image, this is too much cuteness. Because you know, if you've been watching me for a, a while now, I love frogs. These frogs are too darn adorable. I kind of want to be hanging out with them. I'm going to be honest here. They look like they're just having a great time. And then up at the top of this image here as well, I mean, I don't know what kind of, cre oh, these are birds. I guess these are birds. They're just feasting here and that looks delicious. I want to be there too. Like all these scenes, I want to be involved somehow. Is that Shrek? Why does that look like Shrek? Is that what it's supposed to be? I don't know. But anyways, just by looking at this image, I kind of feel like, you know, aside from me trying to go about this whole process the way you're supposed to go about it, you know, based on the information on the back, I kind of feel like the image itself seems like it might be quite a challenge. And the reason why I say that is because, again, we have a ton of frogs, we have a ton of birds. We kind of have a ton of the same colors and tones going on here. I don't know, I'm assuming it's gonna be quite challenging to kind of figure out how to go about sorting it and, and whatnot. But you know what? I'm gonna take this step by step. I'm not gonna rush through this because I'm, you, you, you know, I'm a bit absent-minded and I might screw something up. So you know what? I'm gonna make sure I try to take my time and I'm pretty sure I could just go about just piecing the puzzle and completely ignoring all this. But you know, for the price tag, you kind of want to take in everything that it's offered here. You got to kind of make the most of the whole experience here. I mean, that's the whole point of buying these anyways. But you know what? I'm, I'm just going to stop now. Um, let's open this up and let's see uh, what we got in store for us. So let's move on. All right, so let's open this up. So this does come in a plastic wrap. So let's get this off real quick. All right, now let's get this opened up. Oh, so we have a note here from the company basically saying thank you. And it also kind of gives you a little insight as to what you're gonna be dealing with here. And then it has here on the side, basically a checklist of all the Easter eggs to look out for in the puzzle. It's a pretty long list. Anything on the back? No good. That's a lot. Anyway, oh, look at this. It comes in a little paper bag. Oh, pieces inside. I hope so. Open carefully. All right, so that's the bag with the pieces in it. Then we have, it says it does come with two reference images so that, you know, you can work with a partner on this. So let's take a quick look at what this looks like here. That's a very, very nice reference image. It's a nice, good quality paper. It's not gonna rip easily with my beastly force. And oh my God, guys, look at this image. This is beautiful. And the more I look at this, the more I'm kind of freaking out a little bit, you know, not only because I'm hoping I follow the whole concept of this, but I mean, this is a lot going on here now that I can see the full, the full image here. It's a little intimidating. I mean, 
I mean, I'll just keep thinking about how cute the frogs are. But anyway, so yeah, that comes with two posters. And then what is this? Do not open this envelope until you finish the whole puzzle. Interesting. So, oh, oh, this is fun. I'm excited. I'm, I'm nervous, but I'm excited at the same time. Ooh, we, you know what? Let's put this all back inside before I lose something, knowing me. And let's open up the pieces and see what they look like. What's this? Oh, oh, it gives you like a little sticker here where you can write down your name and when you finished it. Well, that's a nice little touch. That's cool. All right, let's get to these pieces finally. I kind of like this wrapping. Oh, it's Velcro too, fancy. Oh, and I, I broke it already. Are you surprised? I'm not. All right, I stuck it back on. Should be fine now. All right, oh wow, these feel very nice. Let's check out this print here. Oh wow, this is really, really nice quality. Oh my God, look at that print. Isn't he the cutest? We got a very nice clear print. It's very sharp. The outlines are there. And the colors, look at these colors. I love it. Interesting, I never had a puzzle with the word printing on the back of it. Now in regards to the thickness and the strength of these pieces, this is impressive, honestly. I'm putting some force on the tabs, of course, not too beastly, but I mean, even these little tabs here, they're holding up really well. This is good sturdy quality here. And in regards to glare, I'm, I'm kind of angling this towards my window. It's very sunny outside and I'm not getting much there. This is, this looks very promising. I like it, I like. Oh my God, look the little froggy's arms, legs. What is that? Whatever it is, it's cute. I just love how these pieces feel. I can't stop putting my hands through them. This is really nice. I am really loving this quality, guys. And you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get with this because I am super excited to put this image together. I need to make sure that I have, you know, the right angle of my table set up so that I don't, you know, screw it up along the way. But anyways, let's let me do that and then we're gonna move on to piecing this beauty together all right let's move on all right so i expected this image to be a lot more difficult to sort but actually i was able to come up with a plan fairly quickly after studying the reference image for a few minutes for the first tray, now I'm gonna be honest, I try to sort out the edge pieces, but it seemed like some pieces looked like edge pieces, but then others didn't quite seem to be, I don't know, but let's continue. So for the next tray, what I did was, I did any pieces that looked to belong to this area of the puzzle. And then for the third tray, we have these light brownie pieces, which are pieces from this area up here. Next tray, these are more like the purples and pinks, which are pieces from this upper area. Next tray, what I did was the greens. So it's gonna be any area that has the background as green. So it's all of this greenery here. Then for the next tray, what I did was, these are like the bright yellowish orangey tones. So that's gonna be anything from this area of the puzzle. And then we have water pieces. So it's gonna have some green edges to it. It might have some yellow edges, but if I saw water in the piece, it's in this pile here. And then for the very last tray, it's just a small amount of pieces, but this is anything from this little bottom area here with the red and white checkerboard. I don't know, I'm not feeling too crazy about this tray. I kind of feel like I should just throw in with the, with the rest of it because I do have pieces dispersed throughout all these trays that do have straight edges to them. So I don't know, I kind of feel like this is a little pointless, but you know what? I'm not gonna jump to that yet. Let's figure out what we're gonna start with here first. Now, on a side note, the box did state that there was no puzzle dust to this, but I mean, I'm gonna be honest here, there is, there is a slight bit of dust here. It's not a ton compared to, you know, other puzzles that you get, but you can kind of see it on my hands here. It's like a light dusting, but, but that's okay. 
But anyways, I'm feeling really good about this sort here. I feel like that was really the best way I could have gone about separating these pieces. So you know what guys? I'm excited to see what this is gonna look like. And I'm really excited to put this image together. It's it's too darn cute. These frogs are just driving me nuts. So let's continue. Now, before we get further into the video, I just wanted to mention that, of course, after I finished filming everything, I did realize that if some of you are actually planning to work on this particular puzzle, uh, you, you may not actually want to see what the final surprise ending is. So be sure to watch out for my warnings later on so that you're not exposed to any spoilers. Plus, most of you know I always end the video with the clip of the fully completed puzzle. So yeah, but anyways, I started off with the tray with the smallest amount of pieces, which was the red and white checkered area. Flow through that pretty quickly and then attempted the tray with the edge pieces. And to no surprise really, I gave up on it fairly quickly because like I said before, I couldn't really make out how this whole image was going to piece together. So I moved on to the water tray and already started feeling pretty good about the experience. All right, so far so good. Now it's, it's tricky piecing together. We, again, you know, there's a lot going on in this image, but I'm having so much fun with it. Now, the more I piece through it, the more I'm realizing that I probably shouldn't have separated the what I consider to be all the edge pieces. I mean, you can still, but I don't think it really helps that much because I'm, from what I'm seeing here so far, we got edges going down through certain sections of the image. So I'm not really sure what's gonna happen at the end of this. I think I kind of have an idea what's gonna happen, but I'm not, I'm not jumping to conclusions yet. So I got most of the water area done now. So what I figured I'd do next was probably this brownie area here. So I went through that pile real quick, did a quick, I guess you can say resort and just separated like the fence pieces so far, some of the soil areas. And I mean, I didn't really do much to be honest. I'm just trying to, you know, get through that quickly just so I could see how much I can get done here before it gets completely dark outside and I don't have any more natural light. But anyways, as I said, I'm having a blast so far with this and I just can't help but fall in love even more with the little froggies. They're so cute. Anyways, guys, let's see how much more I can get done tonight. All right, let's move on. So in between puzzle sessions, I decided to look up the Magic Puzzle Company to see what other information I could find, and their website is very straightforward. But all their puzzles are 1000 pieces with original art and made out of super premium puzzle stock. And there are currently three different series available, each containing three different puzzle images. Now, in regards to pricing, all their puzzles are $22.99, but they do offer them in a series bundle where you can save some moolah. So that's cool if you wanna stock up on them. But if you are interested in picking one up, it looks like they're currently only sold through amazon.com and select US retailers. But if you're in Canada, it does say you should be able to find them in select chapters indigo stores. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm sure you do. But as of right now, they're still working on making them available outside of the US. I bought my puzzle from Walmart, but let me know down below if you've picked one up from a different store. I'd be interested to know where else you can find these in the US. Hopefully they'll be available around the world soon, but you know, you if you've completed one of these puzzles and you just so happen to have a puzzle friend in another country, you know, don't don't hesitate to pass this on to them. I mean, they can of course be from this country too, it doesn't matter, but you know what I mean. But this company wants you to pass this along to other puzzlers. That's why it has the sticker on the box so that you can all write your names and completion dates down. Hmm. Now I'm starting to think about who I should send this to. But anyways, let's get back into the puzzle progress. All right, well, I feel like I'm getting through this a lot quicker than I expected. Not only because, you know, this image got a ton of things going on here, but I can't help myself but stop every few minutes and just take in the reference image. I mean, there's too much cuteness going on here and there's a ton, ton of Easter eggs. Not only ones that are listed, on the path on the paper they give you but you i see some other things here as well 
I mean, come on, you know who that is, right? And then if you move over this way, you got these three guys here. I'm pretty sure you can get a pretty good idea who they are. And not only that, what Disney movie reference do you see here? Who are you? Hmm. But anyways, um, yeah, we've got, I would say, more than half done here. Now I need to get through this upper area here and all the purple area and kind of fill in the, the gaps with green as well. But look at this, guys. This, this is craziness. I was so confused at first, but now I'm starting to understand what's going on here. So I'm working currently on the tray with all these pieces here, and I'm just going to do a quick resort and just kind of make it a little easier to work with so that I can get through it. All right, let's move on with this and let's see how long it's gonna take us. All right, let's continue. And the Easter eggs really did add on to the whole fun of piecing this together. There are a bunch of times where I just sit back and stare at the reference image, just taking it all in. And I'm sorry if I've said the word cute too many times in this video, but I can't help it, okay? I don't know how else to describe my little frog friends. But anyways, I kept pushing through each section quickly, surprisingly. I mean, I felt like it was going quick and I didn't want it to end. All right, so I'm getting down to the last section of this puzzle and I'm feeling kind of sad about it. I don't actually want this to end. I want, I want to keep going because I absolutely love this image and it's just, again, it's, it's too much fun. Now I'm feeling like this purple area is gonna be quite challenging. I don't know why. The other section seemed pretty easy to resort because a lot of colors stood out in them. But with this area, it seems like there's a lot of the same, you know, color tones going on here. I'm feeling like probably the best thing to do would be to like, of course, resort it by separating the tables, probably pick out some of these bird houses, maybe some of the flowers, tile or the purple ground here. I, honestly, I don't know. But yeah, there's not much more. This Let's get this top part done and then we'll fill in all the little gaps that we have spread out and continue on with the mystery bag. All right, let's move on. intimidated by this in the beginning but as I got further along I started thinking about how this really wasn't that bad in terms of challenge level if at all. My sorting worked out perfectly and to be honest I feel like this would still be fairly simple to piece together if you didn't want to sort it. You can just dig into this and puzzle away. It has a great balance between fun and challenging. This puzzle took me about six and a half hours to complete. At least up until this point, we still got to get to the final form. All right, this is absolutely gorgeous, but we are not done yet. Let's move on to that other package that's in the box and let's see what, what that's all about. Now this is the point where if you don't want to see any spoilers, skip ahead to the final thoughts chapter or to 20 minutes and 23 seconds, or just close your eyes till I tell you to open them. I'm following the instructions. It says don't open this until you are completely done. So let's see what, what the mystery is in here. Oh my goodness, it's another envelope. What's this? Oh, dang good at puzzles. Well, I like to try to think that. I'll put that there for now. All right, so it's telling us we have to move certain sections of this puzzle around. So let's do that real quick here. Now I have to say, this was tricky. And I do make mention of this in my final thoughts chapter. But moving these big sections around was not easy. You really need to make sure you have the proper space to maneuver these around because if you have to do any picking up, I guess I should say, uh, yeah, th that's going to be a struggle because it's not going to really hold up. As you can see, I start using the instructions to glide the sections around. So yeah, also make sure you're not using a very strong non-slip surface for this particular puzzle, especially those 
fibrous felt mats or anything because ooh, you're gonna have quite a time doing this. But anyways, once I got everything into place, I opened up the final pack of pieces and very quickly pieced my way through that. And that took me about an additional 10 minutes. And what a delicious surprise. Now I was finally able to enjoy some burger and fries with my frog friends. But what were my overall thoughts to this whole magic puzzle company experience? Oh, and you can open your eyes now. I must say, this was definitely one of the most fun experiences I've had putting a puzzle together. And I don't know if it was mainly because of the image, the overall quality, the combination equally of the two. I, I don't know. I mean, it was it was like a whole story going on here. And the whole the fun of it as well was trying to figure out, you know, what could the mystery be at the end? What was the missing part of this puzzle? Now, in regards to the quality, uh, pretty much overall, like I said in the beginning of the unboxing, the pieces are great. The print is fantastic. It's clear. The colors are bright. The outlines are sharp. It was very easy to figure out where all these pieces belonged in the image. And I didn't even have issues with, with glare, which was surprising, but you know, it was a nice surprise. Now you do have some of the, you know, traditional shaped pieces, but there's also a bunch of other random pieces as well here. And also the sizes varied as well. I mean, especially this one, this one was huge. And I kind of feel like that added on to the whole fun of it as well. They were sturdy. They had a nice thickness to them. There wasn't a single damaged piece. And they all fit very nicely as well. I don't think, I don't recall dealing with any false fits. But what was a little strange to me was that even though the fit was great, the pieces were nice and solid, I was really surprised at the fact that really the overall hold of this puzzle wasn't very good. They, I couldn't move any sections around. I couldn't pick anything up, even if it was like two or three pieces. But really, those were the only instances where I experienced the crumbliness. It, it wasn't like I would, you know, pop pieces in and then the other ones around it would come apart, which has happened to me with other puzzle brands. And that is super frustrating. At least I was able to, you know, piece it together without any issues. It was only when I would try to move them around. And that kind of made me sad because I, if it wasn't for that, this would have been absolutely perfect. Now this whole situation did pose an issue when you get to the end of the puzzle and you have to move one side of it to the other. And that's something you need to remember when you get towards the end of this puzzle. Make sure you have something on hand to move it around. I just used the instruction sheet it gave me and that was good enough to kind of glide a part of it over the top of the puzzle. You know, without too many casualties. I There, there were a couple, but they were easy fixes. And even after dealing with that, you know, I still had to kind of try to do a pickup test in the end. And I wasn't surprised that it didn't hold up to it. It was already difficult trying to get a grip on one edge of it just so that I could try to pick it up. But you know, it is what it is. But anyways, overall, to sum it all up, I think this is definitely a brand worth trying. The image is fantastic. Even the other images that I've seen are really fun. The quality of the pieces themselves is great. And there's so much detail. I have to say, the artist did a spectacular job creating this image because it's just, I you could spend hours just, I mean, maybe I'm exaggerating. I didn't spend hours staring at it, but you know what I mean? There was so much going on in every little piece, in every area. It was amazing. I mean, the, the work that the artist put into this is, is just mind blowing. So with one Magic Puzzle Company puzzle checked off my list now, uh, yeah, I, I'm for sure gonna be getting more of these. So yeah, if you've tried a puzzle from this brand, I wanna hear what your experiences have been like. Did you have kind of like that crumbly issue as well? And if you do pick one up and regret it, you know, you can let me know down below as well and tell, tell me that I'm full of garbage. And you know what, that's okay. But anyways, guys, if you are looking for a place to share any and all of your puzzle experiences with other puzzlers and myself, I do have a community that you can join 
And if you're interested, I'm gonna leave a link down below so that you could check it out. And be sure to subscribe if you wanna hear what I have to say about other puzzle brands or if you wanna come along shopping trips with me. But anyways, guys. I need to get a move on with my next puzzle because I am behind once again, but that's okay. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.